Welcome back, everybody. This is the Lesson 18 Homework Review, Part 3. And so hopefully, uh, on, on, this is more work on inscribed angles of a circle. Hope you've watched the first two, get a chance to go over those questions. And as we move along, they get a little more challenging. Uh, if you find this uh, video helpful, uh, please make sure that you hit the like button. We appreciate, or definitely appreciate that. Also, leave any questions or comments below in the comment section. And this will include, in this case, any topics you might want me to cover besides the topics we have on, uh, on circles. Because I want to make sure that, you know, you guys understand everything you need to know uh, for a topic. Okay, so for number six, circle S, diameter PN is drawn. The measure of arc MN is equal to 110 degrees, and PS is equal to 10. So that's just a radius here, PS, is 10. And so we want to find the length of MN to the nearest tenth. And so MN, which is measurement here, we'll call X. All right, show how you found the answer. Now, a couple of things. First off, we know, we should know, is that since measure of angle measure angle angle m or angle pmn has to be at 90 degrees because if an inscribed angle intercepts the diameter of a circle it is going to be a right angle because of course arc pn is 180 degrees one half of 180 is 90. then we also know that the measure of angle mpn is equal to one half the measure of arc mn and so here we know since the arc of MN is 110 degrees that one half of that will be 55 degrees. So we know the measure of angle MPN is 55 degrees. Now we might say, well, why is this important? Well, we just previously before circles, there was a topic we did called trigonometry and helped us to be able to find the sides of a tri right triangle. Oh, well, also we did actually a to other topics besides that. But here, this right triangle, triangle MPN, we know one measurement of the side which of the right triangle. He's saying, well, what side do we have? Is it 10? No. In this case, PN is the diameter, which must be twice the measure of the radius PS. Therefore, that's 20. We know angle P, in this case, angle MPN to be 55 degrees, and we're trying to find now the, the measure of the side opposite. So we have the measure side opposite of the angle and the hypotenuse. Using our trig ratios, we know this must be the sine ratio, and the sine is the measure of the leg opposite over hypotenuse. So we'll take the sine of 55 degrees and set it equal to x over 20. And of course, sine 55 over 1, we're going to cross multiply. You will get x times 1 is equal to 20 times the sine of 55 degrees. Now we pull out our calculator. And so here's our calculator here. So we'll type in 20 sine of 55. Now I'm going to also double check because you should always check to make sure that you're in the correct mode. We are in degree mode, so we're good. Okay, always check, because if you're using degrees, you know, then we have to make sure we're in degree mode. So, here we go. So we'll hit enter, and we find to get 16.38. 16.38. Well, so x is approximately 16.38, but to the nearest, to the nearest tenth, we're going to do 16.4. So here we had a problem. We had, had to know that the first off that the radius is only half diameter. We had to know that the inscribed angle of a circle intercepting a diameter would be 90 degrees. Then we had to apply our knowledge of trigonometry. So, was, so these questions are not just single focused questions on only one topic. We're using different uh, topics in geometry to solve things. Okay, so we had to keep in mind that not to be so, so kind of, um, narrow focus on just the one idea of inscribed angle is one half the measure of the arc intercepted. It's on now only one part of our questions. We have to be careful with no and use other parts of our information. Please refer back to our lessons on trigonometry and uh, watch all the videos we have for that as well too. Okay, so now for question number seven. Question number seven says explain why any parallelogram that is inscribed in a circle must be rectangle. 
Okay, draw pictures and think about properties of both cyclical quadrilaterals and parallelograms. Now, a cyclical quad is going to be any quad inscribed in a tri in a right in a circle. In a circle. So let's type that out. Hopefully we'll hear a cyclic cyclic quadrilateral is quad oops. Quadrilateral. Switch the L and the I. Oops. Sorry about that. Is a quadrilateral or quad quad that is inscribed in a circle. Okay, its vertices are points of the circle. Points on the circle. Okay, so just in case you weren't sure what that was, I had to check myself for like cyclic. Well, it's, yeah, it's basically in inscribed. So let's now draw a, cir draw a circle. Let's pull out a circle here. All right, and so here's our circle. And one of the things we talked about is that in a circle, all right, the idea is that um, a quad drawn in a circle, okay, that the opposite angles have to be supplementary. But here we also know that for a parallelogram, the opposite angles. of a parallelogram, sorry, parallelogram, uh, I forgot the A, must be congruent. One of those properties of a parallelogram that we learned from before. So the opposite angles parallelogram have to be congruent. And in this case, the opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral. I am terrible at spelling this thing. Oh, maybe it's here, just this one. Uh, quadrilateral. Okay. Very good. Must be supplementary. Why is there a pause there? Must be supplementary. Well, here's the thing. If we know that the opposite angles of a parallelogram must be congruent, and the opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral must be supplementary, well, here's the thing. So we know that these two angles here, we'll call them both x, opposite angles, they have to be both x. So, and we know that x plus x must equal to 180. That means 2x must equal to 90, or 1x equals 90, or 2x, 2x is 180, and 1x equals 98 degrees. That would mean that the, the angles here are both right angles, which by definition we know if a parallelogram has one right angle, then it is a rectangle. Now, Will it have more than one angle? Yeah, sure, of course it will. But the idea behind this is that it, all you need to do is have at least have show that there's one right angle to show that's a rectangle. Because we know opposite angles will be congruent, therefore it'll be two right angles. And then also in the parallelogram, we, we also know that the consecutive angles are supplementary, which means in this case that this also must be a right angle. and it's opposite. So yes, we can show that in this parallelogram that all four angles or right angles is a rectangle. And so now here we can draw any type of making sure drawing a parallelogram, but we had to keep in mind that, that you're going to end up having both pairs of sides parallel. And it's kind of hard to not draw a, a, a parallelogram in your circle that's inscribed that's not going to be a, a rectangle. Okay, so uh, that's it. So here we see in this case that not only do we know that uh, if a quad, so here let's uh, let's come up with a, a finishing statement here. Let's finish strong here with the finishing statement. If a parallelogram is inscribed 
in a circle, then it must be a rectangle. Okay. I'll put a quotation mark here, go all the way to the beginning, put a quotation mark there too. And again, we need to justify any any reasons. We show that that the idea that based upon we know about uh, any quad being described in, in a circle and the properties of parallelogram show that if you have a parallelogram inscribed in the circle, it must be a rectangle because the angles must be 90 degrees. Okay, hope this was helpful. Um, please um, make sure you have a question. Again, leave any questions or comments in the section below. Um, make sure you catch parts two and part one if you have questions. And look out for the next questions or well, next videos we're going to do on um, on circles. I think the next topic coming up will be um, moving away from angles and then moving on to segments of the circle. So. In any case, if you have questions, please leave them below. And thank you so much for watching. Take care and be safe.